disclosure, I'm gonna out myself here. I have never commentated a game of Steve. I. <laughs> Three, two, <gasps> no. one, go! go. Take this. Now there's the extra component of how silly Belmont can be. Uh, You're... The, of course, has some incredible range with his. Uh... What's up, y'all? It's me, Munoz, taking over for Brady. Winners oh. quarters, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're versus, already in it. Uh, versus a Dark Falcon. Belmont Master. Here on Town City. Now, I will say that uh, Steve has very unique movement options. And when you're up against Belmont, who's always... if Like, if he knows where you're going to be, he can always stop it out. It feels like movement is going to be super key. And it, those big openings that Uh has made um, have been through, like, cheekily, you know, doing double jumps, uh, stalling with the down air, uh, stalling with the down air, and then uh, also just using the blocks. Also getting the extra jump that they get from the side B. This character can move. <laughs> as long as they have the resources. As long as they have the resources. Now I see the diamond hands equipped on Uh. Dark Falcon has to watch out to avoid getting hit by all these setups and that sword. He's definitely in kill percent. Oh, wait, no. Got him back. He hugged that ledge a little too long. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Steve is a new character, but we've been seeing that classic Belmont trap since day one of this game. Oh, yeah. I put fire at ledge. You must act. <laughs> You must fear me now. <laughs> you must fear me now. You must move, or you will die. Uh, no slouch. Champion from last week. Ooh, bringing the fight to them. Also has like dangerous setups of their own. That they can throw it against Pokemon if they can get him. Uh, did I understand you correctly? Did um, did I win last week? Yes, I won okay. last week. Yes. So he is trying to defend his title. And honestly, Dark Falcon doing a pretty good job, at least at the moment, of seeming to snatch it away. That early lead from oh, the you know, that forward smash just meant that a uh, force to approach again and again and again. And uh, yeah, look at this. An entire stock, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> Now, uh, has the res if they have the resources, when they grab ledge against Belmont uh, Fire, they can jump off of it, build blocks, and then jump around it. But it's still timing based, though, as Belmont can then cover the fire with the axe or whatever else they can throw out to just to help set up for a kill. Dark Falcon really good at converting off of. Um, did any I say that tools, correctly? So. If Belmont down airs the, uh, the crafting box, will he bounce off of it? Actually, I have not seen him do that. I Probably don't need to do that either, yeah. but See, he, if he, he did, yeah, I missed it. <laughs> oh, he tried to land him on him. Okay. No, oh, not fast enough to cover that roll. Uh, looking a little desperate to take the stock off. Already in high percents. Looking to lose right here if they don't take the stock right now. <laughs> yeah, the the. Wind over victory is becoming slimmer and slimmer. Ooh, just runs right off at him. Say that does Violence. manage to get the stock and <gasps> oh wow! The walls don't matter. They're made of dirt. <laughs> I'm pretty sure canonically that's how it works in the Castlevania games, right? I, I believe so. Like I've seen his uh, chains just go through things. If if if, if Belmont's chains actually hit walls in Castlevania, and yet in Smash they just ignore and transcend physics okay what if it was like some z-axis stuff where it's just like it went around the blocks and you just didn't see <laughs> that is, I, you know that's my own head cannon interpretation yeah that was my head cannon he too to do that Oos. interesting interesting also yeah, those blocks I'm, didn't really sound. i'm not even joking it feels liberating the fact that i can say uh and <laughs> it, it means and it be a player's name right <laughs> yeah i, I go, heard uh, you say it earlier he's doing a great job right now He's like, uh, doing a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, we'll see if uh will uh hmm, <laughs> will uh counterpick to a stage that favors them here because counterpick advantage is in uh their hands. Uh, now uh, would never <laughs> counterpick character, would he? Okay, we're having too much fun with this. <laughs> We do, we do have the rematch of character, and uh, I would expect a different stage. Okay. Yeah, they definitely left the the arena to change. So let's see what. Although oh, he did, did he change skins? Nope. Uh, usually he uses a uh, tennis racket, Steve, up for a game of ball. Yeah. Now, even though that last game ended up being very convincing for Dog Falcon, oh, Ooh. um, they could have grabbed him too. The big reason behind that was the early lead Ooh. that Dark Falcon got. Oh, where are you going, buddy? You're gone! Oh, no. Oh, no. He's, he's, not there. Yeah, he's, he's doing great. He's he okay. took a friendly little Save ride the in the B. car. Save the upbeat. Oof. Right, this is a good start for... Uh, They just need to get the hits first in order to get their game plan started. Get the right tools. Yeah. Keep in mind that oh, also started off very well in that last game, um, and what ended up falling short for him, one really powerful edge guard from Dark Falcon ended his stock at I think it was sub 100. And yeah, it was like around that, 60 something that they died ahead. <laughs> pretty much cost him the game. I mean, granted, there was a lot of great playing that Dark Falcon Spike had to do after that fact, but getting that lead as a Belmont is just. The matchup becomes like Belmont. I feel like Belmont when he has the lead is definitely like at the very least a top ten character. Oh yeah, this is definitely if he never Belmont's had best to spot. Ever. Back air, nice. I didn't even think they farmed gold yet. Scoops him, combo time. Oh, big damage, forty-one percent. I like the fact it. that uh, Dark Falcon is using fire to. Sort of as a bit of a smoke screen, throwing out the aerials behind it. And I don't think that uh, dissipating it has been a great way to get out of this event. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a game starter. Dark Falcon can use that to smoke screen, as you say, to cover a lot. Give me a second. Dark Falcon kind of now struggling because of the fact that he uh, has no real need to approach. Kind of a missed punish right there. I'm not sure if... I think it was such a bold down air that I think I uh, wasn't even expecting ready to punish him the way he needed to. And now 154%. And a diamond pickaxe, so definitely kill options are available to uh just comes down to if he manages to find them first because 100 no that axe followed him just a the hair's breadth away and despite the huge lead that ah uh, had managed to garnish over the past minute it doesn't matter because dark falcon took the stock first even that i don't know if he has his jump he does manage to retain it so 171 percent 177 and he is still kicking <laughs> even right. though the lightest tap from steve will pretty much end the stock for dark falcon all oh, the damage is building up yeah he, he's uh, you need to hit him and when he knows that he's in control oh despite the fact Let's that he play. was the champion of last week dark falcon takes it 2-0 game two actually being a two stock that is very rough for uh to get up from there it is just it just looks hard. Like, I don't know what Steve could do other than, like, like what I mentioned earlier about building the blocks off the ledge. I uh, was probably, like, a little too desperate just to get up and into the fire and try to find a way. They are testing out multiple, I, like, ways to try to get up, like, timing a neutral get up, rolling. Here. Now, that, that cross was fantastically placed. But there, I think there maybe were a few frames before yeah. the second Ooh. fire had activated. And granted, that's, like... The, the, the fact that you would have to do an extremely tight timing maneuver mm. when that like it's so hard to practice that because of all the ways that the Belmont can vary up the timing but if you do have very limited options at the ledge if you do see an opening that you, that might be your only chance to avoid getting a whip to your chin mm. 